Hello everyone, it's Jarrett Moore back again with another video. This time with an update for the last refreshed date and time. The last video that I showed you before the recent time change, I showed you how to insert this into your report so you, you or your clients could see the last refresh date and time in your report. I've done a little research on this to try to make things simpler so you don't have to go in each time and change the number so that you can update to the last refresh time. Especially with myself, I live in Eastern time zone, which is before the, the recent time change was minus four hours. And now that we move the clocks back, I am now minus five hours from UTC time. So I did some research online and what I've come up with is another solution that now you don't even have to enter that. So that's enough talk about that. Let's head on over to the query editor here and I'll show you how things were set up before. So we'll go over here, pull this up. And the last refresh version two is the one that we created the last time, the last video that I did for you here. And if we open up the advanced editor, we'll see the M code from before. And you can see that um, in this line of code right here, where I had the last refresh minus four so I could get the correct time for my time zone, which is Eastern time zone compared to UTC time. Well, what I've found out now is that we can do something a little bit different. So let's go ahead and create a new last refresh table with the new code. So what I will do here is exit out of here and I will create a new blank query. And then what I will do is go up to the advanced editor and I will copy the code from the other side here. Copy, paste that in here. And as you can see now, this line right here is the, the column that creates the last refresh date and time and I don't have any numbers involved here. So once I hit done and then for this example here I'll just name this one last refresh version three and as you can now see with this new M code that I entered in there it automatically marked this as minus five hours because that's my current time zone that I reside in now so therefore whenever the time changes with this new encode I do not have to go in and adjust the time like I did before so if we go in here over here where it says added custom and I'll double click so you can see how that was uh, basically was we're just taking the last refresh time right here and minus the duration and what you want to be aware of is if if you build reports for yourself uh, for your company for others that are in your same time zone you would want to keep this same format but for those of you like myself i build models for clients throughout the u.s and canada and I go over different time zones. I have a bunch of clients in Central Time, in Mountain Time, and even Pacific. So what I do for these clients now is what you're going to do is change this second zero in this right here. So if I change this second zero to one, that would give me the time right now that it is in Central Time. And if I go back into that column, and if I were to go two, enter the number two, that would give me Mountain Standard Time. And if I enter three, that would give me Pacific Standard Time. So instead of the minus, because they are hours behind me, you still keep the positive number there. So it'd be one for my Central, or my central Time clients, two for Mountain, and three for Pacific Standard Time. So this way, every time, that the time changes you don't have to worry about going into each one of your reports and updating the last refresh date time 
this is a nice way to skirt around that. So what I'm going to do now for this example in the video is I'm going to go back into that column, change that one back to a zero. So we'll keep it in Eastern Standard Time. And then I will close and apply. Let that do its thing here. And as we're doing that, I will just copy and paste this. Move that over, and now we'll use our new table, the last refresh version three, and I'll choose that last refresh date time column and get rid of that old one. And now we can see this is the current date and time for Eastern Standard Time on November the 6th. So this did everything that we want to do, and going forward, we don't have to go in and update the last refresh date time every time that there is a time change. I hope you enjoyed this little tidbit to help improve your last refresh date time in all of your reports. And until next time, thanks again. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Enterprise DNA channel. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button below. Until next time, see ya.